Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in the last video, we have just uh, attached the Spark environment uh, to the virtual environment of your Jupyter Anaconda uh, infrastructure. And now that our Spark session is accessible, in this video, we will uh, try to uh, import a file, a CSV file into a data frame. That means reading a file, CSV file, and uh, then uh, checking if we can see the results which are stored in the data frame. So it's a quite uh, simple exercise. Before that, just go to the data itself. So this is uh, input.csv, which has uh, four columns, ID, name, salary, location. So you can just, uh, it's just an example. You can say that these are the 10 employees uh, with their IDs and names, which has salaries and also the location where they are located. So it's a pretty simple uh, uh, column or we can say relational data. And this particular file is stored at one of the locations on the desktop. And we will now try to read this file in a data frame. We already have one tutorial for reading different uh, reading uh, different files, CSV files in different ways with different options. So you can check out that video also. But for now, I'll just use spark.read.csv. For the path, I have already created this path because it is windows i'm using double slash to avoid any uh, like to manipulate the escapes that we use execute it's taking some time because it's showing this asterisk sign we'll wait it is just trying to create a data frame out of the csv file present on the desktop okay so if i just use a df dot show it shows the result of the data frame how it looks like it's a relational data so it should show us the relational data so if you see it is showing like a uh, first column header is c0 and then first row is itself a column header from the file and then the 10 rows so but this is not the way that we wanted so uh, what we can do is having the options spark dot read dot dot option let's see header yeah so what it's saying it's saying that option spelling basically okay and if now I run it is properly using the actual files header to the data frame also because we said that it has its own header. So this is what the show does. It just shows everything out of the data frame, uh, everything as in everything possible. Most of the times it, the, it has like thousand rows, one lakh rows. It doesn't show everything here. It just uh, shows truncated data and there are different ways to manipulate uh, the show operation. So first thing is like when you, oh, okay, something is placed, okay. So df.show is the basic command, but uh, what if there are thousand rows and I want to display hundred rows. So in this particular example, there are 10 rows, but I just want top three rows. So can I do that? Yeah, I can do that. So there are only three records uh, after this operation, right? And also, if you see, the location is truncated. So location is not clear, right? So how to avoid that? So we can use truncate equals to true. Let's see. It is true, which means by default it is true. What if I make it false? Let's see. Yeah, it's working. So basically, uh, by default, truncate option is true which means truncate the details up to some characters. And then uh, if you want to see a total line, whether it has thousand characters or not, doesn't matter. If you if you send truncate equals to false, it will show all characters from that cell, not the dot, 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 basically, right? So this is how we can use truncate. So what if I want to use both of them together? Can I do that? Like for example, top three rows and truncate equals to false let's see yeah so it is three records and uh, this california is not being truncated so this is also working fine 
uh, now what if uh, there are multiple uh, ways to access the data from the sale where i just want only few of the characters from the columns not whole characters okay it is truncating by default but i want control on the truncate i can do that suppose top three rows and 25 okay only showing top three rows right that was fine but what if i change the second parameter to two it is only showing the first column because it is part of 0 1 so 0 is the uh, first position and 1 is basically the second position which means this 2 is basically interpreted as 1 for now what if I increase to 3 it took one first character of the second column what if I use 5 so by default it is truncating right so what if I provide like this no we have multiple values it's not allowing right so which means it is basically our duty to faithfully use this and if you if you cannot uh, faithfully use this you just avoid it truncating the data by getting a control out of it otherwise this will be very hard to understand which argument uh, is working on what right basically use truncate false and truncate true but uh, try to avoid this uh, other parameter which takes control on this uh, data itself right because in production we don't do some manipulations on data we don't know how it comes so basically these are the ways to uh, see how we can show how, how we can display uh, how we can get the results out of the data frame of course this is on the command line it's not part of uh, the data to data frame to data frame copy this is different on CLI itself you can fire those commands in your code base you can fire those commands to see in the console results so thank you for watching